Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 24th of July where I just look at one of the many signals that our members get every day in our Wave5 Trade Scanners membership. In the membership area, our members are able to look for long fifth wave trades, short fifth wave trades. Both of those signals are on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame. We've also got stochastic long and short trades on intraday. Today I'm going to look at long trades. Uh, in the long trades section, our members simply click on this image here for today, July the 24th, and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet looks like this. Okay, I'm going to look for a 60 minute uh, time frame today uh, for a potential long. We also at the bottom of the video here you can see for the results for daily and the weekly. So these are all potential fifth wave trades on those different time frames. And the fifth wave is the highest probability move in a trend in, within an earlier wave sequence there. So high probability trades. Uh, I've chosen just one of these today just to set up on the, one of the charts. So let's have a look at that right now. So I've chosen MELI uh, on the 60 minute time frame for a potential long. This is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Thinkorswim uh, platform. It's also available for MultiCharts, TradeStation and NinjaTrader NT8. Uh, so first of all, for those members that have got our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, we've got a big range bound period down here. This is not a trend. The trend really starts from this low, starts to pick up. So this is where we isolate the bar cake. Uh, bar count down here at the low and then our automated Elliott wave count um, pulls in with our automated target zone here in blue and the probability zone so let's talk about those a little bit more because these are involved in the filters for that scanner membership area so first of all the first filter is that we've had a wave 4 pullback so we've pulled back against that main bullish trend and you can see here this wave has just tipped our green zone that's an 85 percent probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high intro automated target zones here around about 390 dollars the second filter we have on our membership area is that the 535 has pulled back between 90 and 140 percent during that wave four so this is how we measure this behavior of the wave four uh, with the probability pullback zones the 535 and then finally we've got the false breakout stochastic here so the yellow line at the top here denotes false breakout so this is a really strong bullish move and then we've pulled back against there and crossed over in the oversold zone and the likelihood is it wants to go back to that main bullish trend so all those three filters the stars are aligned if you like and now we've just got to go for the setup here so let's zoom in and have a look at the setup so we need to be outside the 6-4 moving average high and this is on our early wave indicator suite uh, for all the platforms and this is the green uh, moving average here so this is our start point for uh, an entry so in the first candle first hour of today's session this is a 60 minute time frame remember we need to be outside and going through this uh, 6 4 moving average high so we've got an entry price here of 369.67 that's our entry long on MELI today the stop loss is below the wave 4 low around about $356.86 so we've left a little bit of a fresh air between the low and um, the stop loss and then that if you can see there we've got a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 to the upper end of our automated target level up here in blue so we've got a decent risk reward decent entry all's looking good futures looking pretty positive this morning as well when I'm making this video I make this video during the European morning um, but US futures are looking pretty strong so this looks good for a long today if we can get that be also be aware of the gaps uh, guys uh, we don't want to be gapping up above the entry otherwise our risk to reward is not good enough for this trade so we're looking for this to open reasonably flat flat or a slight gap up remember we've moved away from this wave four during yesterday's session now which is pretty good we just need that to continue and come outside the six four moving average high for that long trade okay so that's it for today have a great trading day and i'll speak to you all tomorrow